Welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We are going to be focusing on the Lava Loon attack strategy at both Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. We'll try and give you as many tips as possible in order to help you get the three stars, show you a few different methods that you can use for the Lava Loon, and all of these attacks are by crunch time. We are recruiting Town Hall 11 and 12 players, so if you are a maxed out player and you want to come compete at the highest level, be sure to check out the links in the description of this video in order to join my Discord and then you can find everything you need to know from there. However, let's get into today's video. Alrighty guys, let's get straight into it at Town Hall 12. Now the differences between Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12 are simply the Giga Tesla, but it is going to be a major defense that you're going to have to have a plan for. Now the two ways of having a plan for it are basically taking it out with a kill squad, or if you are using your loons over the top of it, yes, the Giga Tesla will do a lot of damage, but it's really the Giga Bomb underneath that will wipe out any loons. You have to have your Grand Warden's ability. There's no other way about it, guys. Either you need to take out that Giga Tesla separately or use your Grand Warden through it. Now, over on the right-hand side, we start with just the Stone Slammer, coming in as part of a suicide siege machine, taking down the Queen and taking down the CC troops at that. Then we're going to bring in the kill squad from the top, or the Sui heroes as part of that kill squad. So we create a little bit of a funnel at the top here, just wiping out these buildings. Then we're going to send the king down this way to wipe out these buildings and drive the queen into the base towards that Giga Tesla. And basically, that is their sole purpose. So we've basically used a suicide method for the CC on the right hand side of the base, and we're doing the same on the left to take take out these areas and then we can drive the lava loon in from there. Now you do have to be a little bit surgical with the Lava Loon deployment. Now this attack is very unique in the way that we do it. You can see the sweeper up to the top here and also the sweeper across to the side here. So we actually try and drive in the Lava Loon from either side of the sweepers in order to merge in the middle. Very interesting, you won't always see it done like this, but essentially it depends on what value you can get from your kill squad and we took down many of the key objectives you might look for in them initial parts so we took the cc troops and the queen and then the giga tesla now with the lava loon you will be very surgical at the start of your attack obviously that was the balloons coming in from separate angles and you actually want them to clump in the middle of the base where you can then use your main spells that's where the main defenses will be coming down to the end of it we have not one but two lava hounds here and you actually want these to pop if you can that is because you will see the lava pups around the base will help you with cleanup but just in case you want to be putting them minions in as well look just to help take that out the last thing you want is a time fail and what you will see as we move through some of these attacks is that depending on the size of your kill squad and depending on your kill squad method you might use a queen charge we will show you that you will have to be very careful on time you can easily fail due to that so let's move down to the next one if you do enjoy my videos guys be sure to subscribe to the channel and do me a favor hit the notification bell as well because you will then be notified when any of my videos go live so getting on to the second attack here and this is honestly one of my favorite attacks of the war, to be honest. It was absolutely fantastic. And any of you guys that have stuck around until the second attack, be sure to leave a like if you do enjoy this one. I really enjoy this queen charge. Gets so much value. Pretty much what we're gonna do here is take out this entire top section of the base with the queen charge. And we even get down here to some of these other buildings as well. So we created the funnel at the top with the baby dragon nice and easy. The king coming in on the left hand side will do exactly the same over here with the wall wrecker then driving the queen into the base. And look at what is there in terms of value. We have the eagle artillery, the multi inferno, so many point defenses, expo, archer tower we've also got the queen and cc very accessible here comes the cc itself 
So plenty of rage spells are used for this queen charge, but as long as you get the value, it's like anything. If you commit more to your kill squad, you can expect your lava loon to do less. So as we move forward here, we do have the Valkyries coming out of the CC. They are getting hammered at the moment, but the Queen continues to move forward. And look at what the Wall Wrecker actually did for us in terms of all of these wall compartments that it broke open. The Queen can get so far into the base here as we zoom out. It's just incredible. Look at the top half of the base. It's gone at this point. The, the Lalo, as you can see, where's the sweeper? Pointing across to the left, therefore we come in from this angle. And the beautiful thing about that as well is the queen is already up in that direction. And as we have said in videos previously, anytime you can try and protect your queen or your kill squad, that is going to help. It's gonna help with time in terms of cleanup and it's going to help in terms of perhaps it can snipe off another defense or two as you come around. So again, very surgical at the start. You can see balloons coming in from each and every angle here, trying to just target each defense individually. But then as we move through, they will start to clump together. That is natural. That is actually what you're aiming for. However, you can continually reinforce with other balloons to either snipe off defenses on the side or to distract any splash damage. Because as your balloons merge together, they're going to be susceptible to splash damage. And that's where then back end wizard towers you have to be careful of you can either use another balloon in order to distract or you're going to have to have spells in that area you can see the heal spell on this one not really even needed clean up troops all around the base and it's just fantastic one technique you can do is to save onto one balloon just in case you come across that splash damage defense at the end of the base you should actually have already planned in order to know where your loons are going you should know if you need that however the good thing about it as well is that you can then use it for cleanup once the defenses are down let's say you miss a storage on the other side of the base just drop a loon there it's going to go down pretty quick so another queen charge on this one and notice how we actually use the queen here in order to set the funnel herself. So only a minion here to take this building and then the queen is actually sniping off these buildings by herself. But because we know she's a ranged troop, we know exactly where she will go next we can predict her pathing as long as we create the funnel enough on this right hand side with the king which we do and we get the wrecker in in time in order to take out that wall we can be assured she goes in and it's actually perfect timing here couldn't be any better because once this cannon went down the queen would have then probably moved around the base here to the wizard tower but we open the wall just in time CC troops come out. Now, again, that is something that you want to try and take down, especially if it's a fresh hit, you don't know what's in there. Get the CC, get the queen is probably the most important thing. Any wizard towers, any multi-infernos, any air defense, eagle artillery, major things like that, but also the sweeper. It's pointed over this way. We did get one of them, but it wouldn't have even mattered. Look where the lava loon comes in, clearly behind the sweeper. And then we are going to circle around the base this way because we've already set up the funnel by taking out this area of the base. Essentially, any, any defense targeting troop, hog riders, lava loon, well, balloons, shall we say, you know exactly where they're going to go because they're gonna go for a defense. So you can predict their pathing. The only thing that then messes it up is a sweeper. So targeting them last couple of loons in towards that sweeper was major in fact to get that down. And again, look at them merging together. This is natural. Queen steps up and is an MVP here, taking down that multi inferno even once the loons had bunched up. But then as we get to it, another haste. There's so many loons left up here. It's insane. The queen charge was just epic on this attack. Managed to get so much value in order to allow the lava loon to work but it's not always a case of doing the queen charge there's many other methods like we said a traditional kill squad you can use the electron method which we will show you in this video as well and essentially it's more about value you can just use a sui hero method like we showed in the first attack it just depends the more value you can get and the more you commit to it the less you have for your lava loon to do now i like this one because don't forget, 
A wizard by itself can be used to create the funnel. Just check the radius of them defenses. Can you just sneak a wizard in and then actually use the king to finish that off? So when the king comes to this barracks, it's then going to move in this way and that is increasing the funnel we've created. So don't forget that you can actually use your troops you want to go into the base to create that funnel. King on one side, queen on the other, they can be used to set the funnel in themselves. Don't forget that, you wanna be as efficient as possible with that kill squad. And again, as we come through to this one, just notice some of the things we're taking. CC troops, enemy queen, one of the sweepers here in the Eagle Artillery, so much value. And what you will see here is that the Valkyries, when they come out of the CC look, they actually get nothing. They get caught in the tornado trap. Few of them get sprung off and actually they get zero value. But the rest of the kill squad has got so much value. Look, this area of the base completely demolished. And actually we didn't commit much more than the heroes and the CC to that. A couple of funneling troops, but that was essentially it. So we have the rest of the army Lava Loon. And again, where would you come in from? Sweeper pointing in this direction. So you could have arguably came in from either one, but it's much easier to come in from the kind of northeast side in order to sweep around this way and get behind the sweeper. Again though, any splash damage you need to be careful of. So as the balloons clump together, we do have the rage and the heal in this area to get over the multi infernos. And when the balloons clump together, that's when you then need the major spells. So look at this, we have haste, haste, and haste at the top. Then as they merge together, the big spells in the middle. And then as they start to come to the end, you can then use the haste again to get over the splash damage defenses. Anything you can really to try and get on top of them splash defenses as soon as possible. Because like we said, getting down to the end of it, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare if your loons have clumped together and you don't have a plan for it. Just one more attack for you today. Again, if you've enjoyed this one, be sure to leave a like. Honestly, that helps the videos out so much. Any of the videos you enjoy, please do leave a like. And again, if you do want to join Crunch Time, if you do want to try and compete in the highest level, then be sure to join my Discord, which is linked down in the description. Here's the Electron method. And again, I tend to, as I'm introducing my videos, I give a little bit of a sneak peek of one of the attacks which is to come. And this is the one that I chose. So as the Stone Slammer comes in, we always used to use that Battle Blimp, but, de but depending on how far you need it, you can actually use the Stone Slammer to get a bit of value beforehand. Queen already goes down here with the Electro Dragon Clone method. And they're also going to get the CC at this point as well. And look at the value just from you using that cloned method. So yes, we've used a lot of spells, and that is, again, commitment. The more commitment you make, the more value you need to get. But this entire top section of the base, history. Once the heroes then come down this way, we've actually not got much of the base left for the Lava Loon, and we've got the entire troop capacity available. Yes, we don't have many spells. We still have a fair few, to be honest. For haste, you will get to see how overpowering this is. So the Electron method, again, just be on the lookout for it. It's very powerful in them situations where you can get in, get the queen, get the CC, and ultimately set up the pathing for the loons. I can't explain enough how the pathing really helps in terms of that kill squad. It's not just about the value you can get, it's the pathing you can create. And again, sweeper pointed in this direction. So whilst we do come into it a little bit, just look at how many loons are coming around the back of it. They're going to get on top of that sweeper. And at this point, well, there's not much more this defender can do. There is a whole balloon parade coming across to take out the base. And at this point, it's history. We did get the Lava Loon in quick enough to protect the Queen as part of that kill squad. A couple of extra minions spread around the base and it's history. That is it. So lots of tips and tricks for the Lava Loon in that one and lots of beautiful attacks on display as well. Again, shout out to Elite Academy in terms of a nice war that we had. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out.